Hello everyone and welcome to this new video from BIWay. If you find us for the first time, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with new videos from BIWay. In this new video, we will show you other examples of how to use HTML in Power BI Desktop. During our first video, we showed you some examples of using HTML to create cards using Bootstrap in HTML. To respond to your requests, we are going to show you other use cases. So, let's get started. Sometimes in Power BI Desktop, you need to display text to present or describe something. But if the text is very long, it will occupy a large part of your report page and you will not have room to add other visuals. As an example, we have this text that describes Power BI Desktop that we want to display to the user. So one way to display the text otherwise is to use HTML. But first, you have to import the HTML visual from the marketplace. To save time and not make a long video, I have already prepared the HTML code that we will use in this video. The first example is to use what we called accordion in HTML. Let's add the measure to the canvas. So as you can see, the text is presented differently and we can select a tab to display its content, which is very nice. The HTML code used is as follow. The next example is to use a slider content. The code is in this measure, which I already prepared. Let's add it to the visual and see the result. Nice, we have the first paragraph. If we wait a bit, the second will appear. Okay, so it was two examples to display text and save some space. Let's now move to other example. We have the sales data report page with slicers and table. The HTML example is to display the sales and discards where we have this effect of zooming when we hover over a cart. The values in this card are dynamic because we concatenate HTML in tax formulas. Let's see the code. As you can see, we concatenate HTML with the format function, for example. The last example is the slider card, where you can change the measure by clicking on the arrows which are on the right or on the left. We can also change the measure using the keyboard. Let's change the value of the slicer to see that the values change. As you can see, the values change. So we come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or feedbacks, please post them in the comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with new videos from BIWay. See you in the next video.